We're talking about what's important to you, your money, your business, your life. This is Boomer's Brain Trust with Johnny Dean and Dinah Smith. Call 877-PLANNER now. Ooh, yeah. uh, welcome back, Biz TV viewers. Rocking, cranking it out this hour. There's a whole lot more to come. 877-PLANNER is our number. You'll want to write that down because the Brain Trust is going to be here in just a bit. Coming up in the hour ahead, we have more with our in-house certified financial planner, Rick the professor, Plum, uh, who's got the goods on the best money advice you're going to find anywhere else. You won't find it anywhere else except right here. We're going to talk more strategies, more solutions this hour with the prop. So if you have a money question right now, good time to call. All the lines are open, 877-PLANNER, P-L-A-N-N-E-R. We're also going to get in some of the leftover news items from earlier today, some things we should cover a bit more in depth. Diane and I try to do that every, I don't know, couple of times a week. Yeah. Yeah, just stuff that needs more discussion. So we'll do that, uh, Dinah and I, later on this hour at 51 after. So make sure you're here for that. whole lot to get to, as is the case just about every day, and we'll get it going momentarily. But first, first five headlines making the rounds. So, Dinah, uh, this doesn't surprise me, and yet I'm still kind of surprised. Half of Americans cannot afford their home. Ooh. Over 52% have had to make at least one major sacrifice in order to cover their rent or mortgage over the last three years. That was according to a How Housing Matters survey. That's conducted by a, a nonprofit foundation. Uh, they, they, they talk about getting a second job. I may bring this up later again. Okay. Because this, this kind of goes in depth. So a second job in order to afford Yes, in order just to, to afford just, the home, yeah. just to afford their house that they're in. Getting a second job, deferring, saving for retirement, cutting back on health care, a whole bunch of other stuff. So we'll talk about this later on, but I did find that kind of alarming. That is wild. So in case you were interested, the dirtiest hotel in America is up for sale. Oh, but there are like 25 bidders already interested. I find this hard to believe, but it's because of the location. Uh, it's right in the middle of New York City, right in the middle of Times Square on West 43rd Street. It's the uh, Hotel Carter which I think <laughs> opened in the 30s. It was, probably um, did. What's funny, it was the Hotel Dixie then, but this thing has been home to murders, to uh, mm -hmm. safety violations, health code violations, uh, but they're still expecting to get about $180 million <laughs> for this thing. Uh, and uh, whoever gets it's going to just gut the place and uh, dump about $125 million into it. And uh, when it reopens, it will remain an independent I, hotel. No chains allowed. I, I have a, ge a general rule when I'm traveling, not to stay at any hotel that starts with the word hotel. <laughs> really. I mean, you know, Hotel Roosevelt, yeah. you know, Hotel Dixie, Hotel, Hotel Dixie. Carter, uh, Hotel, you know, Nixon. I, that, I, I, you know, I don't know. It remember just, the, the Hot L Baltimore? Hot L Baltimore from the 19th. Boy, that was a dirty show. Is that out of Britain? <laughs> No, no, no. Well, it may have begun in Britain, but I know they, they resettled it. You know, it was... It was oh, okay. It, it, right. They made yes. it for American yeah. audience. Hot L Baltimore. The hot they L they Baltimore. had to have warnings and everything in yeah. front of that thing. Yeah. Yep. Good call, Dinah. Hey, hey. Uh, we'll get this. Uh, once again, for boomers, marijuana-infused coffee. They're claiming <laughs> to give you a real morning buzz. Have you seen this? <laughs> What's Maybe in not. your cup over there? There's absolutely nothing uh -huh. in this cup, but uh, it's a prop. <laughs> the uh, Washington State-based Mirth Provisions plans to release a cannabis-infused cold brew coffee called Legal. <laughs> Only available in markets where, you know, cannabis is legal, oh which might gosh. be half the states. Uh, each bottle is going to contain about 20 milligrams of THC. Woohoo! The tetrahydrocannabinol, my friend. <laughs> That's enough to create an alert creative high. Oh, my That's gosh. That's what they say. That's what they said. Their website says this, but not too much as to make it an unpleasant experience. <laughs> That's especially for people that are just getting into marijuana. This is right off their website. Just getting into marijuana. Yes. They so call it's a coffee. gateway beverage. That's what it, it's exactly what it is. It's going to lead to espresso. <laughs> you never know. They, this is this is going to quote mighty. It's their coffee is mighty refreshing, poured over ice or just sipped straight from the bottle. Knock one back with your compadres. <laughs> And take on the day with a smooth buzz and a grin a mile wide. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine that? No. Uh, that's what it is. You wow. have your, uh, uh, hey, listen, uh, maybe I'll save this for later. Maybe the radio people want to hear about this. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, by the way, an 11 and a half, 11 and a half ounce bottle retails between $9 and $11. Whoa. Does that seem expensive? Because I don't know coffee, but is that? I don't know cannabis, so well, I don't know. A, I don't know. All right, anyway. <laughs> Okay, just checking. Uh, <laughs> Professor Plum will be here in a moment. Uh, get your calls in, 877-PLANNER. We're coming right back.